The goal for today is to be able to find the quotient of a division problem whose dividend and divisor is a multiple of 10, where division involves a basic fact. And I want you to pause your video and write this down in your notes. The first key tip of the day is if there are only zeros in one number, they stay. After you divide your basic fact, you add those zeros back onto the number. Write this down in your notes. Another tip of the day which you need to write down in your notes is zeros are like the bride and the groom. They only leave in pairs. If there is one zero left, it stays there because it does not have a pair. So here's the first problem that I would just want you to follow along with me as I do it for you. We have 3,208 divided by 8. Okay, now my first step is going to be to divide 32 divided by 8. Okay, and I know 32 divided by 8 is 4. Okay, now I do have two zeros with my dividend. However, I do not have any zeros with my divisor. So what I do with those two zeros, I will just tack those two zeros on the end for the answer of 400. Now we have our next problem of 4,800 divided by 60. Remember the first step, even though I have zeros in my dividend and divisor, I want to um, divide that basic fact. We want to do 48 divided by 6. And I know 48 divided by 6 is going to give me 8. Okay. Now I remember one of the key tips is that the zeros are like the bride and groom. They're always going to leave in a pair. Okay. So you always need to look at what the zeros that are in the dividend and also the zeros in the divisor. Those are the ones that are going to leave in a pair. So I can see I have a zero in my dividend and a zero in my divisor. So those two will leave in a pair. Now I do have an extra zero left over. Um, after my 8. So what I do with that 0 is I just tack it here on the end, which gives me an answer of 80. So 4,800 divided by 60 gives me the answer of 80. I want you to do this problem with me in your notes. First, so the problem is 2,700 divided by 9. First you want to divide your basic fact, which is 27 divided by 9. You get a total of 3. Now, since there are only zeros in the dividend, we're just going to tack on the two zeros to the three. So, get a total of 300. All right, you're going to write this problem down with 640,000 divided by 800. First, you're going to do your basic fact, which is 64 divided by 8. That equals 8. Now you're going to look at the 800. There are two zeros, so you're going to take the two zeros off of both numbers. And you have two zeros left. So those two zeros you're going to tack onto 8 to get a total answer of 800. Okay, I'm going to want you to write this down, this problem in your notes, and then press play when you got the answer. Okay, the answer for this problem is 700. You can see I divided my basic fact of 56 by 8, and that gave me 7, and then I tacked on my two zeros for a grand total of 700. Okay, you're also going to write this problem down in your notes, and once you get the answer, press play, and there will be the answer for you. Okay, so here's the answer. We have 7,000. We divided 49 divided by 7 that gave us 7 we crossed our two zeros out they left in a pair then we tacked on the three remaining zeros on the end for 7000 if you have any questions about this concept please come and see me and i would like to especially thank anastasia and lena for being our guest stars on the video